Well, hey guys, welcome back to episode four of PC versus console here on Drummard Farm. Just a quick safety announcement first of all before we start. For all the PC users out there, I would just like to say, mind the gap, since I'm getting so far ahead. And we'll see what we can get off with here for the next half hour or so. Just a quick reminder for those of you that's new, we are having a challenge here between the PC and the console to see who can do better with the mods available on this map, which is Drumard Farm. Console's winning. Yo! We'll just kick off here on 35 and start off where we finished the last time. Get the combine going again and then we'll have a look around, see what's happening. Or maybe we'll need to go and empty this tipper. I think we'll need to go and empty the tipper. Take a quick to see where the best is to go to. Seals are on and woohoo. Take this one across and maybe put the rest in storage just wait for the price to get better. We'll also need to get the cedar here for the small field up there. It was ploughed and fertilised in the last episode. And I crashed. Oops. Ah, we'll get out this gate fine. So, things are starting now to take shape. We've got some animals in the go. 50 sheep. Hopefully we'll start getting some nice wool out of them. I suppose we'll have to get something to transport the wool, but... Oh well, we'll see about that in a minute. I think maybe purchase another field as well. Although we'll have to start being a bit more cautious of what we spend. Out of the million, we've only like 350,000 left. There's no way that this tipper can be this heavy on this tractor. Just nip around to the cell point. Drop this off. And we're heading for cell point one. And we're here. So let's wait the half an hour to this thing empties.
There we go. Ah. Okay, okay, let's get back on track. Out of the way, pedestrian. So how is everyone enjoying the face-off so far? Hopefully it's all going good. I just can't wait to get the new internet connection up and going because this will be a lot better. Be a lot quicker if I turn the traffic off, but hey, that would be cheating. And of course, he's going this way. I'll just nip past him. It's pretty bad when you see a tractor passing a car. And we're nearly back. Go to in cab because it's impossible to see with the overhang of the trees. And we're back. I'll probably need them to do the combine as well here. So it's three sixty nine. See the combine. Oh no, he's going grand. What we'll do is we'll bring this the um theater up. After the last episode, we went ahead and we've got all the fields we own over here planted up. As you can see, they're all growing. Realized as well. We just need to throw a quick application over them too after they grow the first stage. And then we'll get this one done now as well. So let's get the cedar over there. I think maybe we'll put a bit of soya bean in this one as well, just to get some money. We're flying along nicely now. The next big aim is to start trying to get some cows going.
Yeah. Crash. And we'll just go and get. That on the worker. And we'll find where our fertilizing tractor is right here. We'll have a plan for this one. Let's go burn some money on our next field. I know that someone there said in the comments about going for 34. Just at the moment we don't have the resources for that. But it's in the plans. We are going up towards field 34, but it's not 34 we're going for. It's the one right in front of us here. Which is 24. And do we want to buy it? Well, let's tell you what we could do. We could do the mission. First of all, hmm, that way we don't have to pay for the fertilizer. That's good. Ah, thank up. I'm not taking seven minutes to do this anyway. Stretch out, get lined up. The reason for this field is because we don't have enough for 34. But generally speaking, I'm wanting some fields near to the cows. The reason being is I'm going to have to start some chaffing here to start getting some silage up and going. I know we can do silage builds with grass and stuff, but it also as well there because the BGA is right on the farm. We need to get some silage into that clamp. Just for the extra income as well if we need it. So if we ever run short we can throw a few bucks of silage down the, the digester there. Oh, this field I believe is sunflowers. So we should get some nice income from this as well, as long as we keep remember to fertilize it another two times. So each growth seed is gonna have to be fertilized again. Yeah. Halfway done already. Give him seven minutes. But generous. Oh, missed some. Oops. These are not Bobby tractors, though. I can hear Randy screaming now, use your GPS! Oh dear. Who needs GPS? Not when you've got a straight eye.
One more pass, and that's this time. When the mission goes, we have decided maybe two or three a day. I don't mind doing them. But at the same time, it takes up. You know. Time they're doing something else. <coughs> nice be four grand for that. Shall we buy the field? Yes. Oh, we didn't actually need the fertilizer. Oh dear. So let's take this one back up. So you see what I mean by feed so close to the cows. For the uh, silage pit. It means you don't have to transport the chaff halfway across the map, you know? It's a big enough pit, I think it holds 2 million litres of chaff. I was asked in the comments there at the last episode about the water points. That's a water point there for this farm. Go on, we must get up that hill. Never let it down. Oh, he's finished already. Okie dokie then. Let's set him off and go on. And while we're doing this, we'll read some comments from the last video. And it disappeared. <coughs> I hit my phone. Let's see if we can get these up and going. Okay, guys, let's see read some comments from the last time here. Okay, from Billy Ward. He says he thinks the PC is more traffic than consoles. Limitations of objects and all. Um, well, I have been on to the maker of this map, Scuderia, and I asked him that exact question. The way he puts it is, he just sends the map through the giants with the traffic in place for both, so it should be the same. But he says, what happens whenever giants get their teeth into it, he doesn't know whether it's reduced or not. But he doesn't think that to touch it. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Ryan Clark was saying that field 33 would be good for growing crops for the crows and pit cows and pigs and he can also understand why I'm planting 35 in grass I'll need a lot of grass for, f grass for the 500 each animal <laughs> you've got that right Johnson he says that um, there is no master race both play the game quite well he personally plays on a PC but that is because he doesn't have a console buy one John Deere is not any better than any other brand and the prestige of one in a deer, in his opinion, is not worth the extra cost. I've said that a few times and I keep me down for it, but I believe that as well. Let's see. Phil says it's still really hard to watch the videos. Phil, keep on. Please persevere with it, because the internet is getting upgraded. And it should be a lot better. And yeah, it was Rand that was asking where the um water points was as well. When I go to the farm I'll point that out to you as well there. Just beside the diesel tank where the seeds are. So let's get back down here. So mostly seeded all fields we have are mostly seeded. See what tractor we'll have free here. Oh, the dear John's free. Hello, little dear John. Let's drop the play off. And we'll go and get the windrow. If I didn't sell it. I don't think it did. I think it kept it. 
probably make the trip the whole way down there, wouldn't it? Let's just have a peek in the garage. Yes, I kept up. Yay! And it should be just down here in the shed in front of us. Oh, still got a more of it, don't need that. I could get rid of that. There's a bit of income. Oh, sheepies have started giving me will. Lovely little sheepies. So we're left with 218 grand after buying the field. And quite honestly, I'm about to spend another 90 here. For the time being, I'm not going to build the hay. And we'll put that one on a hard worker. Cheap GPS this, you know. Hard workers. Fold him up. We'll take him down to the field. Started with the wooden wagon. Do you want to upgrade this cedar as well to something that fertilizes what's planted? Excuse me. Why did I say the gap of the PC users at the start of the video? Because we're going leaps and bounds ahead of you. Let's check the combine as well. Near enough, need an emptied. The wee, the combine there from the Massey pack is absolutely brilliant. Not the biggest combine in the world, but perfect for starting off. Generally, I think it was better than the um, the wee New Holland or the wee Case tractor, uh, the combine even. Sorry. Hence the reason we sold off the New Holland for that. get this filled we'll empty the combine and then we'll go and show you what we're gonna spend 90 grand on mm, it's not wide enough I think we will be putting in a bigger header and windrow because generally all this field is now going to be is grass constant just grass and as Ram was saying there 500 of each of the sheep and the cows we're going to need a lot of grass so that one's full we'll just nip over empty the combine Predictable. Need to keep on top of this. Oh, where am I going? And back then to here, and let's go get this emptied. Well, as you've seen before when I picked up the straw from the first time we did a harvest there the main silos in the other yard hold straw as well straw, grass, hay they hold everything to be quite honest but it's a bit far away a lot of driving back and forth just to, 
to empty. So, what we're going to do is put in a hayloft. Just going to put it in the field here where the cows go. The goddamn gates don't have collisions. So, yeah. Just going to put it here. Shop. Placeables and a hayloft. Right, the reason we're putting it here is that's the silage pit. Okay, silage clamp. I'm going to drop it. Yeah, just right there. The reason we're putting it so far back is we can just bring the mixing wagon in here. Well, this we fence is here, and we can empty over the top of it the loose silage into the mixing wagon. There's our hay and our straw. Yeah, we'll put a bit of thought into how to organize this, I suppose. Again, the mother fields, as you can see, sunflowers just over there. That we've bought. So they're not that far away to get to the chaff back when we replant it. Of course, we will need to buy a rose cedar. Let's get you back up, get some more hay. You can see we have went full at it here. Trying to get things as productive as quick as possible. Not like some other people um, who are having a wee bit of fun with their GPS, playing up half the world. <laughs> oh, decent idea. Randy has playing all those fields together, but again, the reason I've left the two of them single, like I have done, yeah, you know, we're going to need to grow potatoes and sugar beets at some stage for pig food. I don't plan to do a lot of potatoes and a lot of sugar beet because they're not really worth much but we'll need some for them. So there's no point planting really big fields in them. Just doing enough to keep us. I suppose being an Irish map we'll have to plant potatoes. Just a pity giants wouldn't come out with some bigger and better ways of doing potatoes. Very slow and very tedious. Especially the small in-game machinery. But picks up two rows at a time. And the Maxtron there isn't the fastest of machines. But it's still pretty expensive. Our harvester's still going. Can't see him. Yep. Still cutting away. I know everyone was going to say, you know, you could have just drove up and down the roads without, you know, putting the, the rake on it, but. Kind of makes it a bit quicker. Nothing more tedious than driving up and down all these single swaths. We need to get this field ploughed, fertilised and grassed up. Alright, let's go have a wee look at our harvester, see how we're going over here. Oh no, he's fine. So guys, don't forget to check out R.D. Allen's channel, 
for the PC point of view on this challenge. I'm sure he'll be up and going and ready to get into this quite soon. But the gap is starting to widen. So we'll just have to see how he tries to plan to get it back to get into the competition again. Okay, we're nearly here. Okay, guys. Well, look at the time. We're going to call a wrap there. Don't forget to leave any comments and questions that you have below. Hit the wee bell for notifications of future videos. And, um, yeah, definitely like, share, subscribe, and all the usual good stuff. And we'll see how this goes in the future. Until I see you again then, guys. Have a good week. And that's me out.